what's going on guys christine austin ill coming to you with a pretty quick video in regards to the telesales presentation so this morning i did a practice presentation with two of uh, my new agents here and i decided to strip out the video part of our presentation and just added the audio for you guys to listen in um, first and foremost i will say that if you are a new uh, subscriber thank you and welcome if you are one of my old subscribers thank you as always for your support and continue to watch as we will have plenty more uh, content for you going forward now i will say my disclaimer that i am not endorsed or sponsored by lincoln heritage or any other insurance company for my training and i nor any company for that matter is responsible for your success only you are all right so stay tuned and listen while we go through this telesales presentation okay so follow along as i'm going to go through the script because you'll notice that um, I'm at the beginning part of the script, you either have an eligibility card, which is a mailer, they call it to the commercial, and it doesn't have whether or not um, it was a web lead. And you'll be able to notice that based on the web that's sitting in front of you, the lead that's in front of you, okay? Mm -hmm. So for this example, I'm gonna use as though it was a card that, was, that came in the mail. Okay. okay. Excuse me. Dang on pepperoni. All right. <laughs> Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Rhonda. Hey. Hey, this is Christine, your benefit coordinator here with the Funeral Advantage Program that assists the seniors. I received your eligibility card requesting additional information about our program. Now, was this information just for yourself or for you and another loved one? Just for myself. Just for you? Okay, awesome. Now, before we get started, is there anyone else who needs to listen in for you to make any type of decisions today? No. Okay, great. Now, uh, first and foremost, Rhonda, I want to commend you for taking the first step to making sure that the money is available when your loved ones need it by allowing us to help you relieve an emotional and financial burden. And we're doing this by making sure that everything goes as smooth as possible. That's why my focus is to help relieve a burden and not to create one, okay? Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to work together to find the most affordable solution. Now, first question. I know this is just for yourself, but are you married? No. No? Okay. Well, no worries. Usually, I would assume that the spouse is going to be your beneficiary. So, do you have any children? Are they going to be your beneficiary? No. No kids? No kids. Girl, how'd you get out of that? You are not <laughs> over there by yourself. Did you ever want kids? Mm, I do now, now that I can't have them, but yeah. I uh, know it in the beginning I didn't. Oh, isn't that crazy how life changes and you think you want one thing and then later on in life you're like, dang it, I did something. Right, yes. <laughs> I definitely can relate to that. All right. Well, who is gonna be that one that, that is gonna be taking care of your final arrangements then, Rhonda? Uh, my sister. Your sister? Okay, and what's your sister's name? Uh Renita. Renita? Mm-hmm. Can you spell that for me? That's pretty. R E N I. T A. Okay. And does she have the same last name as you? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So one of the questions that I always like to ask um, the individuals that I'm talking to is, have you ever been financially responsible for the loss of a loved one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And were you involved in having to pay for that? Or if you don't mind yes. asking, like what, what took place? Um, he my fiance passed away and um i didn't know his family um you said you so didn't know his family i did not out of mm -hmm. 11 years being together um he uh, never <laughs> i always talked about him but um i didn't meet them until after he passed away and oh. um of course because we wasn't married uh there was a three or four weeks lag time where um police had to search for his family and um wow. yeah so once they found him <laughs> um they gave me a call uh, i told him um we both all uh, me and his brother went in on uh, paying his uh, for his cremation which wasn't a lot so 
Okay. So he didn't have anything in place then? No. If he did, I didn't know anything about it. And um, the one thing I am grateful for is that even if they didn't find his family, I had the funds there available at that time. Yeah. Praise God for that. Mm -hmm. oh, my goodness. My goodness. Um, and I want to pause and show you. I just put the screen up here for you to be able to follow along with me. Right. So I'm kind of like mm -hmm. right here. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So you definitely understand um, what goes through in that process. I'm sorry. Like, that's crazy. I didn't know that for real, that it took mm -hmm. that long. Um, mm -hmm. Wow. Like all of the calls that I've had, I've never had a situation like that. So I'm glad that you were able to um, get everything done for him because I'm sure you wanted to make sure that. You know. and the awesome thing about it is um, he was, I was living in Columbus at the time. And so, um, he was in Grant Hospital, which is one, besides OSU, Grant is a pretty good hospital. Okay. Um, and um, Grant uh, did not give me any issues. They kept his body there. I didn't have to pay any um, fees like for him to stay there as right. long as he did. And then uh, a month later, uh, for everybody who uh, passed away in that month and every month a person passed away they bring the family in and they do a memorial service for them oh, as that well. is amazing. Mm -hmm. amazing so i was really blessed the lord really blessed me with that yeah that definitely is a blessing um because they usually charge you some money as mm -hmm. heard every single day that a loved one is left um mm -hmm. uh so wow that's awesome that is a good hospital mm -hmm. oh my god that's a good hospital that is not happening where I live, uh, mm -hmm. as I've ever heard it, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And um, I'm sure, you know, Ms. Ronda, you're like 99% of the people that I talk to. And you want to make sure that you're getting the best price possible, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. So let me ask you a few medical questions so that I can make sure that I'm getting you the best price possible. Okay. Okay. All right. So are you currently bedridden or hospitalized or in a care facility? No. Okay, good. And are you receiving um, hospice care? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have HIV or AIDS? No. All right. Awesome. So we can move forward now. So looking at the last two years, Ms. Rhonda, have you been diagnosed or taken any medication for any of the following health conditions? And that would be heart, heart attack, heart failure, uh, disease of the circulatory system, stroke, or aneurysm? No. Okay. Have you been advised to have surgery to improve circulation? Uh, no. Okay. Cancer? No. All right. Disease of the lungs, like COPD or emphysema? No. Wow, you're doing pretty good over here, Ms. Rhonda. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything with your liver or kidneys or had any organ transplants? No. All right. Alzheimer's, dementia, organic brain syndrome, or Lou Gehrig's disease? No. And any alcohol or drug abuse? And that would be, any, you know, uh, you have been in a facility? No. Okay. And then looking at the complications with diabetes, like an amputation, you have all your toes? I do. All right, good. Normally, if I'm sitting in front of you, I'm looking at your feet, but I can't see you, so I have to ask. <laughs> I'm glad all you have all your toes. <laughs> and then lastly, is any, any coma or blindness or any kidney disorder from complications of diabetes in the last two years? No. Okay, perfect. Now, for anything that may have happened past the two years, are we taking any blood thinners? No. Wow. Well, you know what, Miss Ron? It looks like the good Lord has definitely blessed you because you're sitting in better health than most of the people that I talk to. And although most insurance companies will not cover those pre-existing conditions that you mentioned, because most people mention them. The blessing is that we can still help you and your sister, Renita. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So um, now, like most people that I talk to, they want to make sure that, that they have a cash benefit that is readily available for their family when the time comes so that the financial burden is relieved and everything can go as smooth as possible. Isn't that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you had mentioned as far as your fiance and, you know, that you guys didn't have any additional financial benefits other than the money that you had. And I'm mm -hmm. sure that took a little bit of a strain having to come up with that money. Is that all? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Rhonda, that's what I do every day is I help people just like you do exactly that. 
because we never know when that time is going to come. And one thing is for sure, Rhonda, we can't predict the future, but we can definitely plan for it. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. So let me ask you this. Are you looking more for a traditional burial or are you going to do a cremation like your fiance? Um, probably a cremation. Cremation. Okay. And today, a lot of people that are doing cremation, um, some people want to do a viewing or a memorial and some are still being buried. Have you thought about if you just wanted a direct cremation or do you want to be away? That part I haven't thought about. Okay. And, and it's no worries. It's nothing that I need really right now, which just helps me to determine the quote near the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me share a little bit about our company and why so many people enroll with us to protect their loved ones. First off, this is a permanent whole life plan. And that basically means what it says is permanent. It never changes for your entire life, which separates us from term life plans. Do you know the difference between term and whole life? Um, no. Okay. All right. So it's, it's pretty simple. So term pretty much means that you're only covered for a certain term. That could be one year, two years, five years, or whatever that term is. Uh, and mm -hmm. what that means is you're only covered for the life of that policy, not your entire life. Also, it will go up on premiums every time the term ends and you renew it. So it also does not build a cash value or even have a loan value. Okay. Okay. Now with us, it, we're whole life. So your premiums will never change and your benefits will never go down, no matter how old or how sick you get. That's great, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Now, we don't have any medical exam requirements and we don't send anyone out there to bother you. We believe that most people are honest and I appreciate you being honest with me about your health, Rhonda. Thank you. You're welcome. But most <laughs> importantly, we do pay out our benefits within 24 hours of receiving a copy of that death certificate. And again, this is important for us to be able to take the financial burden off of your sister, Renita. Now, our job is to make sure that the arrangements you set go as smooth as possible. And on the worst day of your family's life, that's important, okay? Okay. Now, we are associated with the Funeral Consumer Guardian Society, who's also known as the Family Support Service. And when you receive your policy in two weeks, you will also receive two final wish forms, and five auxiliary cards. The final wish forms will help you to pre-plan all of your final wishes from the comfort of your own home. They will help you with the type of casket, which is, a huge, which is huge because a lot of people don't know you can get a casket outside of the funeral home, and by federal law, they must accept it. Now, I know in your case, you're doing a cremation with no viewing, so that doesn't really apply to you, but if you're thinking of anybody else that may benefit from this program, um, it's good for you to know that. Now, of course, I added that in, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> now, this will, this, this will even assist you in your service, the obituary, and even up to the type of clothing your other loved ones may want to wear. So you want to cross that out. Obviously, mm -hmm. I don't get to that part of it. So not to mention your pets, because they're family too. You have any animals? I do. You do? What do you have? I have a cat. You have a kitty cat? Oh, I do. I, I love cats. I grew up with kitties. I have I had two I actually had three. Um <laughs> but um one ran away when we moved. Uh the oh. other one, uh, because of a I had was living with a friend, she okay. left the other one out. And then she was oh. my heart. Um cats, of course, you know, they choose you, they don't you don't choose them That's mm -hmm. and she chose me as her human oh and i miss her so much <laughs> and then i have zoe <laughs> zoe that is a cute name <laughs> oh my god yeah i was raised with like 12 to 14 cats uh the majority of them were outside a couple were inside mm -hmm. two dogs and a ferret so we had a lot of animals running around <laughs> not, animals. not to mention two siblings and three uh foster kids so you oh my goodness crazy Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> well, listen, we do even have a section for your, your cat that is left. You have the one left. You better love on that kitty, even though that's right. Right. <laughs> okay. So on the forum, you're just going to make sure that you're going to fill out who's going to be taking care of your kitty in the event that you pass before your cat. Okay. Okay. All right. So 
The FCGS, also known as the Family Support Service, <coughs> they will not let any funeral home know how much money you have. Because frankly, that's none of their business. Okay, that's mm -hmm. between you and your family. The main benefit of the Family Support Service is to make sure your final day goes as planned and at the best cost possible. Mm -hmm. Even if you have a funeral home preference, they can still call around to lower the price of the funeral home of your choice. Okay? Wonderful. Now, on the membership cards, there's a 1-800 number that connects with a live person 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. And we only hire in the United States, so your loved ones will be able to understand the person on the phone. Make sure when you receive your packet in two weeks, Rhonda, that you give your sister, Renita, a card as well, okay? Okay. Okay. Because in the event of your death, all Renita will have to do is pick up that phone and call us. And we're going to put everything in place that you already pre-planned. That way, she can focus on grieving and saying goodbye one last time. Okay? Okay. Okay. So how does this make you feel knowing that on the day that you die, the only thing Renita will have to do is pick up that phone and call us and everything else is going to be taken care of? Oh, fabulous. Isn't that amazing? It is. Yeah. Now, do you have any questions on what I went over so far? Mm -mm. Okay, good, good. Now, based on the medical questions that you answered earlier, I am able to qualify you for final expense. All right. Now, what that means is I am able to provide you with day one coverage. And God forbid, if you were to die after your first payment, your full benefit will be paid out to Renita, the full benefit. Now, other life insurance companies will have you pay into a benefit for two years mm -hmm. before it's even active. With us, you qualify for day one. How amazing is that? That's wonderful. It is. I mean, I, I just love the fact that we can provide that. Now, not only are you going to be able to benefit from the day one plan, but we also have an accidental and dismemberment in all of our plans. So if you die in an unforeseen accident, Rhonda, excuse me, Renita will receive an additional $5,000. Now, this could be something like falling in the shower or hitting your head causing you to die. Um, if you were to die in an automobile accident, it will pay an additional $10,000. This hmm. is the number one cause of death relating to accidents. Did you know that? I think I read that somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Car accidents, it's crazy. Now, yeah, car accidents, I'm at, I, I've been in so many car accidents. It's you, there it is. <laughs> okay, so you know you need that benefit. <laughs> you got so, it. Thank God it is in there. And if we need to increase that, honey, we, it's just a dollar. And I'll tell you about that at the end, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, if you were to die in a common carrier accident, it will pay an additional $20,000. Now, this could be any type of public transportation that you pay a fare for, like a bus, a plane, train, taxi, Uber, ambulance, vehicles like that, okay? And if you were to okay. die in an act of war or terrorism, it will pay out an additional $20,000. And of course, this will be anything tragic like 9-11, or it could be something we see every day, like a bank robbery, where a band of misfits come in and shoot up the whole place, okay? Okay. Now, if you have a single dismemberment while you are alive, due to an accident, we're going to write you a check for $2,500. Now, this could be a loss of an arm, a foot, an eye, or even your eyesight. This also includes double dismemberment, which means if you lose two extremities, also including your eyesight, we are going to write you a check for $5,000. Is all of this making sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. So. The last thing is if you pass away 200 miles away from home or more, we are going to pay up to an additional $1,000 to make sure your body is safely transported back home because we never know when or where we are going to pass. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why we cover transportation of mortal remains because we want to protect your natural death benefits. That way your family has the money. <coughs> now, the first plan I have for you here is the bronze plan, okay? So we have a bronze, okay. a silver, and a gold. Now, before I get into your prices, do you have any additional questions based on what we went over? I did. All right. What so um, the um, one with um, common carrier, I take a lot of cruises. 
if for whatever there's a freak accident and I fall overboard mm -hmm. and I drowned, is that considered? Um, is that considered? That's considered an accident, and it is considered. Um, unlike regular life insurance plans where they have all of those uh, disclaimers in there stating that if you go out of the country or if you die in childbirth or you die on a cruise, that you would not qualify for the benefit, final expenses mm -hmm. still covered. Um, they do call this a death benefit, so no matter how you die or where, we are mm -hmm. going to pay out that benefit. Okay. Yes. Great question. Great mm -hmm. question. Okay, so what I've done is I've pulled up some rates for you, and of course, we'll look at the book, and or you can do the numbers, either or. And what I have for you, um, based on the information here that you're 48 years young and this and then the third, so I recap the age, the health condition that you qualified for, final expense. Um, the bronze plan is going to be $120, all right, for $25,000 worth of coverage. This okay. is going to include all of the additional benefits. Um, on that one, you would be looking at a monthly premium of $125. The okay. second plan I have is our silver plan. And this is for $15,000. On this one, you would be looking at a monthly premium of $92.50. And then the third plan I have is the gold plan. And this is a face value of $10,000. And on this one, you would be looking at a monthly premium of $67.20. Now, let me ask you this, Rhonda. If you were going to die today, which one of these plans are you leaving behind to Renita? Probably the bronze. You want the bronze plan? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And that was 25,000 for 116? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now, that is an excellent choice, okay? Now, all we need to do is get a little bit more information to make sure that I have everything correct, okay, Rhonda? Okay. All right, so now I go back through. Correct spelling, your date of birth. I have her name. Now, who do we have as your contingent beneficiary? Who's going to be the one that's taking care of this in the event that Renita goes before you? Sandra. All right. Over. Get the spelling. Okay, great. And what's your social security number? Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, awesome, Rhonda. Awesome. Let me go ahead and repeat that back to you. Okay, great. Now, as soon as the company receives your first premium, your plan takes effect. And for your protection, this will be coming out of your checking account. So what's the name of your financial institution? And I don't say US. institution. Let me just be clear. I say, what is the name of you? Who do you bank with? USAA. Okay. And then, okay, while I'm getting this um, information together, I need you to go ahead and grab me your routing and account number. And so I'll let you go grab that. A lot of people have it on their phones. <laughs> All right, great. So I write that down. Now, it's going to take three to five days for this premium to clear your account. And now that we have taken care of your first month's premium, I want to congratulate you on taking care of your family. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. the next line says if they don't have the money in their bank account, that's when you're going to go there. All right. So our plans mm -hmm. are completely customizable. So when do you want your account drafted next month? When do you like to pay your bills? Mm -hmm. The uh, fifth. The fifth of the month? Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. And so I'm writing, so as you see me looking down, I'm writing on my money sheet. Oh, okay. So I wrote the fifth. And then you didn't stop me when I said this is coming out the first three days. So we're good to go as far as this is a good to go coming out today. I Meaning, And it's mm -hmm. still three to five days. All right? Um, right. So then, okay, cool. So today is actually the first, Rhonda. So um, that's perfect. So you don't have to worry about another payment coming out this month. The next payment won't come out until May 5th, okay? Okay. Okay, great. Um, now, what I'm going to do is ask you a couple questions on a, that we're not going to do. That needs to be changed. This is what I do as a telesales person. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now is get you on a recorded line for your protection and for mine. And that way, everything is going to be exactly what we talked about today, okay? Okay. Now, do you have any other questions before I connect this to the recorded line? How long is it going to take? <laughs> oh, that recorded line is only going to take between five to seven minutes. Okay. Okay. So what they're going to do, and, and you will see this is the recorded part, which is what I would do as a telesales person. This is not what you're going to do. Step six, you guys will not do. You will call okay. to the 888 number 
and they will read the application and information and you will just answer their questions. So when you call in to the telesales number, you're gonna say, this is Rhonda, agent number, da, 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 okay? Mm -hmm. And they're gonna say, how you doing, Rhonda? How you doing, Trina? Oh, I'm doing great. Then they're gonna say, are you calling with one or more applicants? Is it a telesales? So they're gonna ask you questions. All you're gonna do is answer the questions, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you definitely want to make sure that you have the complete application and the payment authorization form completed before you call. Okay. Okay. And that's it going through the script. Okay. What do you think? I'm going to stop sharing that. What are your <laughs> thoughts? What's your comments? What's your thoughts? So when we get to that step six, we just dialed the 888 number. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, when you okay. get to step six, that's where right before step six, it says, now what we're going to do is get you on a recorded line. And I usually say on there, it says, I'm going to connect you to the recorded line for your protection and mine. We are, but I, you're not doing step six. Step six okay. is you reading everything because normally I connect it to my recorded line because mm -hmm. I have a recorded line and I read the whole application and I do the verification. But for you guys, you will not. You will call the 888 number. Okay. okay. Yeah, so I'm going to update that real quick and send you an updated um, script so that you don't read that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I'll update that and send you an, another one. But that part is for the regular telesales agents. But yeah, mm -hmm. so at that point, you're going to call the 888 number. Make sure you have, like I have sticky notes everywhere on my, on my computer. Put mm -hmm. your agent number somewhere so that you remember your agent mm -hmm. number like right next to the telesales line because I don't know their number yet because it's new. This one's new, so I have it in front of me with the day and the times that okay. I can call. And so I'm gonna update again this <clears throat> script and I'll add the telesales number in there mm -hmm. for you. I will also add the credit card confirmation number in there so it's right on the script so you don't have to look anywhere else. Okay, okay good. Okay, um, what else? What other comments? Mm -mm. It's basically straight to the point. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of, it flows. It definitely mm -hmm. flows. And you will see, trust me, they will not all go as gracious as Miss Rhonda was. They won't. Because <laughs> you know you're going to get people say, wait a minute, what is this again? And so that's going to be the beginning scripts, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the Funeral Advantage program that assists the seniors. That's why in the um, email last night, I sent a copy of the lead letter so you can see what they have mailed in. Hey, welcome back. So how did, how did it go? What did you think about that practice presentation? Leave your comments down below, okay? And guys, um, the next video that I post is going to talk about the fact that uh, the insurance commissioner has shut down face-to-face -face insurance selling and that is also for life insurance agents so uh, i'm going to be talking about that in the next video so stay tuned um always again give me a like if in fact you enjoyed this video give me a comment right down below and make sure that you are sharing this video with others um, because as i know there's a ton of agents now going into telesales and this is a different animal so let's go ahead and grow together share like subscribe and we'll see you in the next video peace and if you are an insurance agent who is looking for a telesales opportunity hit me up on l h l i f e n o w at gmail.com i am hiring in the states of pennsylvania ohio indiana virginia delaware okay and parts of florida those are the states that I am able to help you in. So if you live in any of those states, if you reside, you live in any of those states, hit me up and I'll be more than happy to go through an interview with you and see if this is a good fit for the both of us. All right. Now I'm out. Peace.